uh, we have beautiful ladies from the, I hear Sweden. Is it much snow now, Sweden? Uh, there should be quite a lot of snow now, yeah. Uh, when the first snow beginning in Sweden? Uh, usually in the end of November, beginning of December. Uh, when is melting? Uh, beginning of April, perhaps. <laughs> okay. It might be as long as uh, uh, this month. Yeah, it could be. It could be. At, uh, we well, not really May. Well, maybe uh, Finland. She's yeah. from Finland. And uh, might Finland. Even oh, Finland and Sweden. Yeah. <laughs> oh, neighboring countries. So language is different. Yes, yeah. very. Uh, I speak Swedish and she speaks Finnish. So you can understand. We speak English when we speak to each other. Ah, <laughs> yeah. okay. So uh, I hear Finland and Sweden uh, educational level and uh, social welfare is very advanced and people <laughs> but but the very big tax is yeah, that's very true. big so it's a controversy you know a Japanese uh, it's quite different from the Japanese system yeah. <laughs> tax is very low but the we have to pay for the security or uh, medical patient ourselves uh, education we have to pay tuition of yeah, course yeah, yeah. so the government uh, system is quite different but uh, this is my maybe second time i think uh, people uh, from sweden and finland uh, asking some questions about the canal how long are you going to stay here uh, we are here for five days five so we days? will go home tomorrow yeah. to finland uh, no to tokyo we are exchange students in tokyo oh what are you doing there is it uh, we university? study japanese yeah we study uh, japanese at university uh, uh -huh. you too Yes. Uh, so, is this your vacation for coming here? Yeah, uh, since we have our spring holidays. So you've been yeah. staying here for already five days? Yeah, uh, yeah four uh, days. Four days. <laughs> four days. Yeah. Four days. Well, where else did you visit so far? Uh, we went to the Zuizokukan in uh -huh. and, uh, North, yes. We also went whale watching. Uh -huh. Did and you go to uh, Nagojo for cherry blossom? No, we haven't uh, really. Don't. Well, we've seen some cherry trees, yeah, so we haven't you, really. You can see Hanoi. all over Okinawa right now. It's yeah. a very good season, cherry blossom. But is this your first time to see cherry blossom? Uh, no, we've seen them in oh, Tokyo in before. But, yeah, but yeah. We white, were very, very surprised. White, yeah, pink here. It's, it's a little bit different. Yeah, we I were mean, very surprised to see yeah. them flowering at this time as well. Uh, and usually in mainland uh, Japan, blossom uh, is spring. Yeah, it's uh, end of spring, March. Uh, April, April, yeah. yeah at the uh, end of March until the beginning of uh, April, I think. Then it seems to me um, Japanese cherry blossom is more like a white color yeah, compared like to pink, pink right. you know, That's here. Right. So, uh, is uh, Tokyo staying there for how many years? Uh, it's for one year. One year. So we've how been is uh, different from Tokyo uh, atmosphere and Okinawa? I think the people are friendlier in here, actually. Uh, and, and it's less crowded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Too busy. <laughs> Make a money, making a profit yeah, you know, so every many day. Yeah, there's so men in the street. Uh, and here yeah. it's, it's a bit more relaxed, I think. Uh, <laughs> it's a good I place see. for vacation. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So, uh, this is my last question for you uh, from Sweden. Uh, beautiful lady, please. I uh, invite your own country in your Sweden language. <laughs> Well, look at the camera and please okay. look at the cement of Okinawa, please. Som svensk så är Okinawa extremt exotiskt. Vi är här nu i februari och ja, körsbärsblommorna blommar. Det blommar hibiscus i häckar. Det finns palmer och allt möjligt. Det finns också eh, stränder med koraller och man kan se exotiska fiskar, valar och allt möjligt som man bara kan se på tv hemma i Sverige. Så att jag kan verkligen rekommendera att åka hit. Okej, okay, thank you very much. Can you say in English please? Uh, yeah, what I said was, uh, yeah. uh, as, as Sweden is, is a very exotic place, uh -huh. Okinawa, you uh -huh. can see uh, things like hibiscus uh -huh. that we use as uh -huh. houseplants uh -huh. uh, flowering outside. Uh -huh. And well, I said we are here in 
uh, February uh -huh. and it's yeah things are flowering. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's quite uh -huh. amazing. Uh -huh. I also said that you can see a lot of exotical fish if you go to the beach. You can uh -huh. see corals you uh -huh. can, and you can see uh -huh. whales uh -huh. that you can only like see on television uh -huh. if you, in Sweden. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I can recommend going here. Uh, okay, thank you very much. I will talk about the Japanese people who are in Sweden. I will talk about the the last one, beautiful lady, please. Uh, Finland language, please invite. Ah, Okinawa on loppujen lopuksi Suomen näkökulmasta katsottuna tosi trooppinen paikka. Tämä on suutrooppinen ilmasto, joten nytkin me ollaan täällä nyt uh, tammikuussa, niin on enimmäkseen ollut 20 astetta lämmintä ja on voinut kävellä teepaidassa. Ja tämä on kuin Suomen kesä käytännössä, paitsi että kasvusto on tosi paljon rikkaampaa ja eläinlajista on tosi paljon rikkaampaa. Eli voin suositella. Kulttuuri on kiinnostava ja luonto on ihana suomalaista näkökulmasta. Tervetuloa Okinavalle! Okay, thank okay. you very much. Can you say in English, please? Uh, from the Finnish point of view, this is really exotic place. The um, greenery is lush, and the weather has been mostly nice. Even like now in January, it's been mostly like 20 degrees, and you've been I've been walking with t-shirts on. So it's um, it's really exotic place with wonderful culture and wonderful uh, animals and plants. So it's extremely worth the visit. Uh, Welcome to Okinawa. Uh, え、フィンランドからの方で、ま、早口でちょっとお分かりにくいところありましたけども、ま、沖縄は、ま、ジェネラリティはま、多分2月に来ているんですが、非常にま、いいところで、え、あちこち見て歩くと花とか自然とかです